triple integration, we need to find the volume of paraboloid x cube plus y square equal to 4z cut off by plane z equal to 4. Before starting up the solution, let's revise some of the formulas first. Volume is a triple integral. So v is equal to triple integral dx dy dz. If you want to have the limits in details, so the innermost integral that is in x, this will always have the limits in two variables, that is f1 in yz and f2 in yz, right? And the limits for y always in one variable, that is phi1 in z and phi2 in z and then is z for z the limits are constant you can write it as a to b right so the innermost integral always have the limits in two variables and outermost integral the limits are always constant for the spherical coordinates the volume is triple integral r square sine theta dr d theta d phi and for cylindrical coordinates, the volume is triple integral r dr d phi dz. Alright. So now, starting up with the solution. Find by triple integration, the volume of the paraboloid of revolution, x cube plus y square equal to 4z, cut off by the plane z equal to 4. Now, if you look over here in this diagram, this is your paraboloid x cube plus y square equal to 4z and this is your plane z is equal to 4. And by symmetry, we understand that the required volume is 4 times the volume in the positive octant. Now the volume in the positive octant is bounded by this xz plane and this yz plane. xz plane yz plane and then the upper part of the plane z is equal to 4 and then the curved surface x cube plus y square equal to 4z the curved surface please look it over here again this is your x, y, z axis, right? This is your paraboloid. x square plus y square is equal to 4z. It is cut off by this plane. z is equal to 4. This blue colored one, this is the section of the paraboloid by the plane which is a circle. That is x square plus y square is equal to Put z equal to 4 in the equation of the paraboloid, you get a circle. x square plus y square equal to 16. And if you want to see the projection of the circle in the xy plane, that is this, where z is equal to 0. Now the volume in the positive octant is covering this upper part of the z plane, this side's xz plane. And then this yz plane 2 and then this curved surface, this one, this complete, right? This is the volume in the positive octant. And now the volume in the positive octant is bounded by this xz plane which means y equal to 0. Then is yz plane, which means x equal to 0. And z equal to 4, I'm already having. And also having z is equal to x square plus y square over 4 from the equation of the paraboloid. That is the curved surface. Now it's your choice whether you want your limits of x to be constant or limits of y to be constant. Let me take the limits of x to be constant. For that, I can get the limit for x from here, the equation of the circle. 
So on x-axis, y is 0. So for y equal to 0, I can get my x to be as 4 for the positive value of x. So x is equal to 4 and y is equal to, from here only, y is 16 minus x square under the root. Right? Now I'm having the limits of z, limits of y and also the limits of x. So now calculating the required volume, which is 4 times the volume in the positive octant. Now because the limits of z are in two variables, so the innermost integral will be in z. The limits of y is in one variable, so the second integral must be in y. And the limits for x, which are constant, 0 and 4, 0 and 4, so outermost integral is in x. So this is from, okay, the limits of z. Because the limits of z can be taken from this curved surface to the plane z. So lower limit will be z equal to x square plus y square over 4 to the plane. Then upper limit will be z equal to 4. And then the limits of y from 0 to 16 minus x square square root. So... The integration for 1 is z, so this is 0 to 4, 0 to 16 minus x square under the root and the integration is z and also putting the limits, so I get 4 minus x square plus y square over 4 dy dx and now integrating this with respect to y, taking 4 minus x square over 4 together this is into y minus the integration for y square by 4 is y cube over 12. And the limits from 0 to 16 minus x square under the root. If you put the square root 16 minus x square here, the upper limit, this is also simplified as 16 minus x square over 4. So you get 16 minus x square the power 3 by 2, right? And here also you get 16 minus x squared to the power 3 by 2. So on simplifying, you get 4, 0 to 4 integral 16 minus x squared power 3 by 2 dx. So this is equal to now integrating this with respect to x. You get how you integrate just put x is equal to 4 sine of theta. And you get dx equal to 4 cos theta d theta. And the limits, when x is 0, theta is 0. When x is 4, theta is pi by 2. Very good. So this is 16 power 3 by 2 because when you put x as 4 sine theta, you get 16 common and the power is 3 by 2. And 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. And with power 3 by 2, that will become cos of cube theta. Into d theta is 4 cos, sorry. Into dx is 4 cos theta d theta. So this is complete 512 over 3 from 0 to pi by 2 cos the power 4 theta d theta. And now I'm going to use the reduction formula. So this is 512 over 3 for this. The power of cos is 4. So we write, we always subtract in the numerator the power by odd numbers. So 4 minus 1 is 3 and 4 minus 3 is 1. And in the denominator, first writing the power, we always write the power in the denominator before subtraction. And now subtracting the power with the even numbers. So it is 4 minus 2 is 2. And 4 minus 4 is 0. You don't have to write that. And because whenever the power is even, we always multiply with pi by 2. So after when you solve this, you get, uh, yes, it is 32 pi. So on solving this, you get 32 Bye. As the required answer. Alright, thank you.